Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Shivkumar and in today's video, I am going to talk about the Texas Instruments TDA4VM, which is an Edge AI processor and development kit. Now I had this board for a, a little while and this board seems to be truly remarkable and has a lot of features. But in this video, I am going to mount the Linux image onto an SD card. And from there, we'll try to load this load this operating system on the TDA4 VM. And we'll try to play around a little bit to see the capabilities of this board. And I have a camera called the IMX219, uh, which is the same camera that you use for the Raspberry Pi. And we can connect it to the system and we can do some deep learning or uh, computer vision and artificial intelligence processing using some of the default algorithms that are running on this board that Texas Instruments provides when you get started working with this board. So let's dive in. Now this is the board, the TDA4VM. I have attached the Raspberry Pi IMX219 camera to one of the CSI ports. It has two CSI ports, so you can connect two cameras with uh, all the four, four lane channels. Now this board also is equipped with uh, a couple of uh, peripheral um, devices. So for example, you can connect an HDMI for the display output. It has um, a couple of USB ports. It's got one Ethernet port and it's got one. This is the USB to UART connection. So you could connect this to your board and then you can, you know, basically use this to debug. Uh, during boot up and also, you know, SSH into the terminal. In the back, um, I also have another module which you can connect. So if I remove this, there is a, a CSI port that you could connect, which can now, you know, split this into like four different cameras or use four different cameras. And it also has a couple of like uh, other connections where you can apply, attach, like say a Wi Fi module using the socket over here. This is the heatsink that's running on the processor. And this is how I've connected the Raspberry Pi module. Now, before we get started in to, you know, installing the firmware onto this board, let's have a look at what the capability of this board is. Now, this has got two ARM Cortex A72 running at two megahertz, two gigahertz. It's got, it's a 64 bit processor. It's got a graphic acceleration when display display interface ethernet and the most important part of this hardware is it's got like deep learning accelerators a depth and motion accelerator vision processing accelerator accelerator and a video and decoder accelerator so it's a very capable machine for applications that require vision processing in terms of you know depth detection motion detection object detection which are they have few examples that you could use to get this board working. Now in this, if you go on to the different types of boards that they have developed, one of them is the TDA4VM, which is the board that I have over here, the SKTDA4VM, but I do believe the BeagleBone AI64 is also using the same processor. The capabilities of this board is very vast. It's a dual, it's got a dual core ARM A72, and it's got four ARM Cortex R5F R5, uh, uh, processors, and um, it's got, you know, two DSP cores. It's got a 3D GPU, and here are a lot of the other functionalities. It's got seven I2C, three into I2, I3Cs. Then it's got UR capabilities, ADC, SPI, so it's got all the microcontroller capabilities and a very capable machine. So you can interface with all the other peripheral devices if you just want to use this, as well as the capability of you know doing all the processing on board. So to get started, uh, you can go to the getting started processor SDK Linux for SK, SK TDA4 VM. And as you scroll a little below, it has how you're going to flash this image. So the software setup, uh, we're going to go to the SD card WIC image link, which is over here. And I'm going to download the TDI, TI SDK Edge, Edge AI image J72E VVM WIC XZ image. 
and it says for the SD card image with Edge AI robotic stack. And the latest version was released two months ago, around 8th of December 2023. Now this image is around one gigabits. So once it downloads, we'll try to flash it using the instructions in the other link. Now that it's downloaded, let's try to flash this using the Bellina Etcher. To get started installing the image after it's been downloaded, I've selected the image called the, the TI SDK J7 J721 WIC image, and the target is going to be the MMC block, and I'm going to flash it. Before that, for the Bal for the Balina Etcher, if you're running this on Ubuntu, uh, you might have to run the Polkit server. So I've got it running over here by executing this particular command authentication and now I'm gonna flash it and it's gonna ask me for my password I am gonna authenticate and now it's flashing and it's gonna take around 10 minutes after the flashing of the image onto the SD card is completed it did take a little bit of time let's try to load the micro SD card onto the TDA4VM development kit. So I've loaded the micro SD card into the board. Now we're going to power it on and then we're going to use the USB to UR terminal to see the boot process. The power adapter does not come with this board so you got to buy this as an additional component in order for you to get started. Now that the power is on Let's go back to my Linux terminal and see it boot up. Here you can see it starting to boot up. The login is root. And here we have it started. This is when you connect the display port, you can see the display port. And here it says Edge AI Gallery. I've connected a mouse to it, so now I can control the screen. And in here they have some default examples that you can play with. So you can click on image classification. And here they have some demo images that show you uh, some form of what it's recognizing. This object detection. So here is a car is driving and you can see it trying to identify other cars. Semantic segmentation. Able to classify uh, the car, the road, the sky, the trees. A multi-channel example from surveillance to ball tracking to airplane flying. So they have some pretty neat examples. And here you have custom. Now, what I have also done, since I have the IMX219 raw sensor, I want to connect this module. So in one of the configuration, it says you need to Go into the name overlay and add the RPI IMX219 the TTBO. I believe it's a device tree uh, file. And we'll try to activate this particular camera. So we need to go to this file, the run media boot memory block dot txt and then try to add this line. And I have already added the name overlay and I've added the RPI IMX219 DTPO and I've already restarted this device. So let's have a look and see if we can get this working. In here, I'm going to click image type. I'm going to click camera and it says CSI zero camera. And here I'm just going to use a particular model 
uh, let's try the YOLO thing because I have connected this camera to the model I'm gonna click start and this is basically my home yeah here you can see me talking and in some shape or form it's trying to identify me so I'm able to get this all working uh, this interface is not the best so for example if I click on custom let's look at another example let's look at this example and click start so it's able it's trying to classify certain things I don't think it's very you can even see that there is some latency like it's not the it's not like as fast as when I'm talking you can see it really being slow like my ATEM mini is doesn't have that kind of latency but as this device does have some latency so yeah you can go nuts with this so if you connect one more device to it I believe you can have like two images pointing and working together and there is more to explore uh, and I will try to play more with this device and create another video on how you can make your own custom application and you know perhaps even modify some of this settings over here in this desktop view so that's all there is for this video the introduction of getting started with the TDA 4 VM uh, this is a very capable device and it's I believe it's kind of like entry level in terms of the capabilities because Texas instrument has like the AM 69 a series which can you know you can connect 12 cameras and even the TDA 4 VM is one of the little bit entry level in the TDA family of devices so they have the TDA VH and I believe which has like 12 cores or 12 different types of processors or 12 different you know arm cortex processors um, and then it has um, you know four deep learning accelerators so so this is like one of the lower configured chips right now I'm just gonna play with this and see how far I can take it and from there um, I will basically be able to see if I can you know advance to those advanced chips and you know and try with more cameras and see whether you can do more image processing and stuff like that but until next time I really hope you like this introductory video and uh, do like and subscribe to this channel and until next time do take care thank you